This is EasyOSX, and today I'm showing you how to automatically create nested folders using the Shortcuts app on Mac. If you work on projects where you have to create the same folder structure on a regular basis, like I do for my YouTube videos, it can be tedious to create and name each folder one at a time. Fortunately, there's a better way. This is the folder structure I have to create each time I make a video. I have the root folder, which I name based off the video project, and then within that folder I have four folders labeled Audio, Docs, Pics, and Video. So the shortcut I want to make will create a root folder with the name I give it, and then automatically create the four subfolders. I'm going to have a link to the shortcut in the description so you can download it, but if you want to see how it's built and how to edit it, then keep watching. Starting in the Shortcuts app, you'll want to hit the Create New Shortcut button and give it a name. You can also set a desired icon and color if you so choose. Now in the right sidebar, search for Create Folder and either double click it or drag it over to the main workbench. It will create an action that reads Create Folder in Shortcuts at Path. There are two options here depending on if you always want to create this folder structure in the exact same place versus any location. If you want it in the same location, then click Shortcuts, hit Replace, then navigate to the folder you want this structure to always be created under. You can skip ahead to the timestamp on screen for the next part. If you plan to make this folder structure anywhere, right click where it says Shortcuts in the action and change this to Shortcut Input. This will create a new action at the top for receiving input, which we're going to use for saying where we want our top folder to be created. Click on Any in this top action, hit Clear, then check the Folders box and click out when you're done. Then click where it says Nowhere, and the right sidebar should change to the Details pane. You'll want to check Use as Quick Action and Finder, so that when we're done you can trigger this with a right click. More specifically, I'm going to set this up so the shortcut will create the nested folders within whatever folder I right click on. You can also set up a keyboard shortcut, but that's your choice. Now we go back to the first Create Folder action. Here I'm going to set the name of our top level folder where everything else will be created and stored in. If this folder will always have the same name, just left click on it and name it. If you want it to ask you each time, then right click on Path and select Ask Each Time, which will change the line from Path to Text. Clicking on Text again will also let you set a prompt, so I'll just say Name the folder here. We've created our top folder, so now we're going to set what folders we want created inside of that. So click back to the action library and add another create folder action under the first one. Then right click on the shortcuts label in the new action and select magic variable. The action timeline will change a bit and you should see this item labeled created folder between the first create folder action we added and our newest one. Click on that created folder label. The interface will go back to the way it was, but now the second folder action will say created folder in the place of shortcuts. Now in Path, you can give it the name of the folder you want created. I'll name mine Audio. So as our timeline is now, it reads that whenever we select this shortcut from the Quick Action menu when a folder is selected, it will ask us with a text box where we give it the name of a folder, then create a folder with that name inside of the folder that we right clicked on. After that, a folder named Audio will be created inside of our original folder and the script is done. If I want more folders to be created on the same level as this audio folder, then I can right click on the audio folder action and hit duplicate and change where it says audio to whatever other folder names I want. And because I'm duplicating this action, it will create them all next to the audio folder rather than within the audio folder. If I wanted to create one of the folders inside of audio, then I could change created folder to a new magic variable and select the created folder underneath audio. It doesn't nicely show this change except for a little connecting line, so just be careful and perhaps add some comments using the comment action. If you want to test the command as it's written now, and you haven't set it to run in only one location, then the way to test this will be by right clicking on a folder and selecting the quick action. So I'll right click on this folder called test on the desktop and run the actions from here. I can give it a name like local. And then I'll open the test folder. And 
there's my local folder with the four other folders inside of it. If you don't see the quick actions menu when you right click and you've confirmed you set it to run as a quick action in Finder, then open System Preferences, click the Extensions option, select Finder in the left sidebar, and check your shortcuts from there. You can and should totally customize this to fit your needs. For example, you can add an if else action to ask you where you want to create your nested folders if you don't specify a location. I've also commented each section to highlight what each action does and how it runs to help you and me should you decide to customize it. Lastly, in case anyone is interested, this shortcut also works in the Files app on iPhone and iPad. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel out. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check us out on the website, easyosx.net, as well as on our social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.